Well, Tara, we, we do. We have probably one of my favorite herds out here. I think this herd is second to Fang's herd, which unfortunately is still no word. I know a lot of you have asked about Fang, and I've had lots of messages about Fang. I still haven't heard anything about her or where she is at the moment, but I'm sure she's fine. I'm sure she's just enjoying the winter somewhere else away from Juma, possibly on one of the rivers to our south, like the Sabi or the Sand River, and maybe even as she's gone as far north as the Olifants River. So I'm sure she's around, and I'm hoping that we will see her again fairly shortly. But other than that herd, I think this herd for me is one of the most special, just because of this matriarchal female and her short, short trunk and how she's able to still look after all of these younger elephants and make sure that they stay nice and safe and that she's in such good condition considering we've just gone through a drought and now we've had a fairly dry year this year even though there is vegetation for them to feed off it still hasn't been the greatest year in rain and she still looks wonderful she's managed to find food even with her disability arm muscles all pretty much run linear the elephant's trunk has muscles that run linear and around it so it's able to manipulate that trunk in all kinds of ways and that allows them then to wrap it around branches even if they had lack the little tips on the front that they'll use to pick up smaller things like marula fruits or any of the smaller twigs they can still wrap their trunk around and that's how she's able to feed and you can see they just slowly one by one coming past with the littlest one now on its way hello guys what a way to come back to Juma, one of my favorite animals to spend time with. And I think what they're doing now is they're going to slowly move up the hill behind me and they'll go up towards quarantine area and then onto Gari Dam. So I'm pretty sure we're going to get them at the Juma Dam camp at some point during the afternoon. It's going to take a while for them to get there because first it's time for lunch and so they're going to feed their way slowly as they go. Now I'm going to try and just turn myself slightly that I can just get the ones behind me. Now hopefully we won't lose reception again because just in front is Philemon's dip and seems to be a little gremlin hideout at the moment so we're going to try and avoid that as much as possible but there we go it should help Craig so just reposition slightly and it's something about being lower than a herd of elephants when you're sitting like this and you're at the same angle as their feet their size really does get imprinted on you it almost feels like they're that much bigger and you get a sort of much better sense of how big these guys actually are and it's really cool to see them from a low point of view interestingly enough just before well not last cycle because last cycle there were very few elephants around and I didn't get to see too many but prior to that the elephants that were around were feeding mostly off grass now we've been sitting with this herd for the last 20 minutes or so and I haven't seen any of them taking any trunkfuls of grass at all so I would imagine by now at this time of the year the grass is completely devoid of nutrients and therefore the leaves are where they're turning and I'm just watching all of them going through the different types of trees and they've been feeding on all kinds of different types as they've been going along now John you saying have I ever seen an elephant seed another elephant with its trunk now, I'm not sure I quite understand the question um, maybe if you put it another way we can be able to decode what you're trying to ask because I'm not 100% sure in terms of what you're actually after and I see short trunk is just coming behind us she's gonna cross over shortly and it's amazing to watch her because she's got this very odd trunk that looks very funny now when she's looking up at us so she's got her trunk up and sniffing so she's sniffing up the hill and there you can actually see just how much shorter it is than a normal trunk there we go look she's busy sniffing just checking what's going on there's a bit of a breeze that's coming from our northern side and so maybe she picked up the scent of something on the air and that's why she was just lifting her trunk and checking what's going on see she's now smelling us a little bit our scent is now blowing from her from us to her Ah, so there we go now the question was 
whether or not they would feed, not seed. Sorry, my comms are a little bit bad, and it's, well, it's my first afternoon back, and the brain's a bit scatty after driving a little bit, so I do apologize about that. But yes, the most definitely, I have seen it before. We used to have a young bull elephant in this area that had a similar situation as this to this female, where his trunk was almost cut off quite close to the tusk, so very high up, and therefore didn't have enough to be able to grip plants and vegetation and be able to eat it. And you'd find that the females would actually break branches off and put it into his mouth, and and then from there he would be able to chew it. So they, I have seen it before. I have seen another herd do it as well. But with this particular elephant, her trunk is mobile enough that she doesn't actually have to worry too much. She's still able to wrap it around branches. She's got enough length on that trunk to still be able to feed themselves. So uh, now that all makes sense. Because I was wondering why seed. I was thinking of all the different possibilities. But feed makes a lot more sense. So thank you for clarifying that, Chantal. I do apologize. Got to get the ears cleaned out. I was down by the coast. Maybe there's some sand in my ears that needs unblocking. Now, I'm going to sit and enjoy the company of this beautiful, relaxed herd of elephants because they are one of my favorites. And while I do that, I believe Brent Leo Smith is driving around in the Mara, and that's a name I haven't said for quite a while. So I hope Brent is well. And let's go across to him to see what he's going to be up to this afternoon.